Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to prepare your computer for sale or donation. If the computer's still working, you just want it to get a new one, then you don't want to just throw it out. You can give it away, repurpose it. There's plenty of people out there that will appreciate what you don't want anymore. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. There's many videos online that show you how to destroy your old hard drive. You can use this for that same purpose, but if you want to, you can certainly take a sledgehammer to it or put a drill through it. Of course, you want to wear the proper protective uh, eye protection and gloves and so on, whatever you need to make sure you don't hurt yourself. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your computer so you can actually give it to somebody else and without having to require any special tools. So this is a couple step process. The first thing is with Windows working, and this is in Windows 10, we'll click on the start button and go into settings. Go down to update and security, and then we want to go over to recovery. We want under reset this PC, we go to get started. And you have two options, keep my files and remove everything. Of course, we don't want to keep your files. The whole point of this is we're giving it to someone else. So we want to get rid of it. So we'll click on that and then it prepares. Then you have the options for a cloud or a local install. We really don't care about the cloud getting the latest one. We just want to reset the computer. So we'll go with the local. And then it confirms that it's going to remove the apps, but it doesn't clean the drive. If we go into change settings, here we've got two options. So we've got clean data. Right now it's at no, so it's just to remove your files. This is quicker but less secure. If we click on the little button here, it'll go to yes. Now it says it's gonna clean the drive. And this may take hours, but it will make it harder to recover any files. And notice that it says harder, it's not impossible. So it's still possible someone could recover the files. Uh, but they'd have to really want to put the effort in to try. So we'll go ahead and hit confirm. And it confirms that it's going to do all this, including cleaning the drive. So we'll hit next. And then the process begins. But not quite. One more uh, confirmation here that it's going to do all these things. Yep. So we'll hit reset. And now it starts preparing the computer to go through taking a backup copy of the operating system so then it can erase everything you have and then reinstall just the original Windows files. Once the reset of Windows is complete, this is only the first part. So it's made it a lot more difficult for anybody to recover your files because we chose the option to clean the drive. But now what we want to do is run another program such as File Shredder, which is a free program. We'll have the link in the description below as well. And when you open it up here, you can go to shred free disk space. Then you would just choose the local disk C and you can leave the default on here or you can increase it up to a secure erasing algorithm, algorithm if I can speak, or the Gutman algorithm with 35 passes and there's arguments as to which one is better. And um, the th whole point of this is that the more passes you do over the drive, reading and writing, it just keeps writing ones and zeros over and over until it becomes just a, a unreadable, unrecoverable for whatever was under there before. So we would just choose one, hit next, and then hit start and then it starts going through it and you'll see it says zero percent here when it's done it'll get to a hundred percent and at the bottom you'll have to scroll down to see that it's complete really to make your files less capable of being recovered by a data recovery process is just writing files over and over and over and that's what the secure erase really does is just doing extra writes and rewrites over and over so between doing a reset of the windows choosing the clean option and then shredding the free space on the hard drive afterwards you should be fine and with confidence knowing that your files are securely removed from your computer. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. And hey, if you guys are still watching this video at this point, 
you're one of the very few people that stick around right to the very end and I just want to give you a very special thank you and comment below and let me know that you really did watch this to the end and what can I do for you what kind of videos do you want to see more of if you're not already a subscriber what would it take to make you a subscriber and I've got the membership capability that I can add on here as well and I would love to know what would you want to uh, get out of a membership package on my channel so anyway thank you so much for being one of the select few and I look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now